Okay. So there were a couple of of bad ones, but there weren't there weren't very many. There weren't as many as I expected, that's for sure. But before I ch before I do anything too uh, drastic here, I'm gonna change the spacing of these so that their point so that the right side of the letter is 0.6 apart from its border. Hopefully that'll that'll put them far enough apart that when they're touching that when the font comes they're good enough to whoops wrong wrong sketch okay hopefully they'll be far enough apart that that nothing will be melded together when I print an actual piece of text, you know. I should probably... D... Yeah, things things look better for the D already. E Ooh. F cuz like it's going to be the point it's going to be the 0 0.6 plus the 0 0.4 is going to be separate them by one millimeter. And if I, I feel like that'll be enough. Anyways, F. G. H The H is let's see the H the Q and the lower the H the lowercase g and the lowercase q and the L are the ones that that are that brought this to a tit by attention um I J Hang on a second. Can I like can I like select all of these and then right click and then show dimension? Okay, cool. High dimension. And then go all the way, click them all. Show dimension. Okay. So H, that was 0.6, right? I, J, K, uh, whatever, whatever. Oh, J, I changed it. Okay. Okay, I did not though, right? L.
M N O What? What? I don't know what happened with O, but whatever. All right. P. Q. Now this isn't going to be a problem for most of them, it's just a problem for like, I should probably also make them all 0.6, I should probably also make them all 0.6, like, like R especially, let me look, oh, B and lowercase r are, are really close to the line, to the left line, 5 is also pretty close. Anyways, uh, R, S, T, You V this is really tedious. W X Y Where's Y? X Z A B. Why is that way the heck over here? Whatever. Okay. Then Z.
Now all the cap now all the lowercase letters. Lowercase g. I was worried about that one specifically, not uh, computing correctly, but it did, so that's good. H. I should have used a parameter for this. <laughs> I didn't think I would I didn't think I would need to change that actually. Because they're all the same and because that was lowercase sub K. L CM N R What? Okay. Okay. Oh, because I based R off of N. And then I didn't change anything. T. Nothing is defined correctly with this one. What the heck? That was a change I needed to make with the T was make it I Can't have it too far down All right T Y 
Ah, this was based off of the other Y. So what is this? Okay, cool. So that one I don't need to change because it's based off of the X. Zero. One. Two. Three, four, five. Six, I don't know if I need to do this one because I th I'm thinking of redesigning it all together, so seven, eight. Okay, cool. So now I just have to fix the problem, children. So that will be starting with capital G. Okay. So the issue with capital G was that it wanted to peel off and it looks like the reason it wanted to peel off is that this here is separate from this. So if I just do this, and then go into this, go into the extrusion that made G. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Nope, G. And I include this. Or disinclude, uninclude it. What does that look like? It does look like a G, which is good, but now it looks a little bit funky. So I think that what I should do is put it it about here and have that come all the way down and then set this to what is that 1.8 that's driven that's because this is there okay set that to 1.8 six 
Alright, and luckily this moves that way, which is what I wanted. And then... Trim this. Then extend this all the way there. to be defined. Alright. Um, okay, now I can... Ooh! Ooh, no, 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 no. No, okay. Oh, I see. It's because of this. Okay. All right. Now, did that screw with anything? Okay. So there's my new G. I'm going to see if that works. Uh, next is capital K. So what I wanted to do with K is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. That's J. So, what I wanted to do with K is see if it still looks K enough. Without that. And... I'm not sure if it does. So, the top hole mostly disappeared in the K or the top gap mis disappeared in the K because a hole is a hole in the letter is not the same as a gap right is not the same as a gap between the letter and the rest of the print but the top gap disappeared in the K but also I think that was just my printer being stupid I think, does that look like a K? Does that look like a K? Just a minute. Okay, does that K look K? Okay, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna. Um, I don't think that looks like a K. But 
but it looks enough like a K. to communicate K when the other letters are around it. But I think I'm going to keep it as is. I might actually, actually, hang on. Uh, that's 30 degrees or 35 degrees. What if I made that 40 as well? Yeah, that ought to increase the size of that gap just enough that it should sh that something should show up when it gets printed. Cuz like something showed up in the print. It just kind of blobbed together. But like it still looks like a K in the print too. So let's see. Next is lowercase h. I'm surprised that the K and the G are the only uppercase letters that I screwed up. So lowercase h. This one should be fairly straightforward. Uh, that should be 1.2 instead of 0.8. And now that's a much bigger gap in the H, I, I and J, oh boy. I may have to, nope, wrong I. Okay. I may, let's see, I thought of something, right? Okay. If I separate these, if I separate these, but then I add just a little tiny bit, just a little, 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 little wisp in between them, right? All right. And then, oh, if I go into the eye extrusion. So the trouble with this, right, with having a dot at the top and this, is that that is for sure going to peel up. If the G peeled up, then this eye is definitely going to peel up. So I can't do that. So... this one don't include that so what does that look like <laughs> that looks stupid <laughs> let me go back into the sketch there and give it, give it a, uh, give it a number. That's point six, point four. All right, and that looks less stupid. So now I'll do that to J, and hopefully, hopefully, the. Uh, it'll be able to print well enough but it's but it's separated by such a tiny little little wisp right that I'm not sure um I completely completely got rid of the 
circle here. I should be able to and this ought to be vertical. Okay. And then it was a square and it was 0.4. Okay. Now for the, that's odd that it automatically finished for J. Uh, now for the lowercase k, it's just a simple matter of changing the extrusion. All right, and that still looks enough. Oh, I do got to change the sketch because I need to bring this in. And I didn't notice that before. Okay, so okay, and then just scooch that in a bit. Ooh, okay. This is, call that point six. And then I didn't notice this, but this cannot be there. So now there. Yeah, okay, that's a good enough K. Um, next. T. I already did the T. Uh, six and nine. Okay. Um, what is that? One point eight. That makes three point six. What if I make this three? And then I put a line from the bottom here. I put this on this line there. Okay. That's got to be 1.2, and then this one has to be there. All right. If I put a three there, and what would happen if I just
Got rid of that. And that. And that. Nope. And that. That looks, that does look six-ish. Uh, but I think. That this needs to go down to here. Okay. And that. And that. And then trim this. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah, I think that'll work. Um, Cause it's basically, it's basically the same idea as this, but I stuck a bar in it. Okay, so. If I just. Okay. So I should be able to move this in. And then from here to here is point 0.4. Okay, put a construction line in it. And then that's tangent to this. And from here to here is 0.6. Then trim it. All right. Now, did that translate? It did not. Okay. That's because I forgot to add in the. Uh, Throughout this much part, this part. Okay, you need to close the loop in order for. That did that translate? Uh, no. Not correctly, anyways. Nine, eight, seven, six. Okay. Now, does that look like a six? Yeah, but it also looks like a five, but like the five is already. I think it needs, I think it needs to be rounded off here in order to look like a six. Let me, uh, let me do that. Okay, well now that's too that's too rounded off. What? No. That looks good. That looks good.
Although I think I might increase these circles to 3.2. Not sure. Just a little bit bigger. Just, just make them a little bit bigger. That looks good. I think that'll work. Uh, let me change, let me try changing it to 3.6. Okay, so that looks like a 6, but that's getting dangerously close to the, uh, to the way it looked before. I think that is, I think 3.4 is the best, the best way to do that. So now nine. So 3.4 and then three I just realized that because these have to be egg shaped these because characters look better when egg shaped Nine and nine and six are not going to be just rotations of each other. Let me look at the. Actually, no. Actually, no. They are going to be rotations of each other. Explains a lot. Okay. Uh, now I can trim it. What? Oh, that's right. Hang on. Hang on. What was six? Three point four three. From there to there. 
Zero degrees. One point one nine two. How did that happen? Oh, these aren't on the same. This isn't on the same uh, thing anymore, is it? If I extend this all the way around, aha! Okay. So I have to figure out what I did to six to get it to look the way it looked. did to six was I just redefined this later. If I do this, that's going to fail to solve. Okay, so instead of what I did, and then From here to here is how much? 1.3? What if I did, what if instead of putting it where I put it, I did this? and extend everything back to where they ought to have been. Okay. Nope, that needs to extend. So that I can trim on this. I think that'll work. Just don't like it. I mean, that's what I said about this, though, and this turned into a big mess.
What in the world? Okay. Yeah, the six looks good now. Okay, so now I'll do the same thing to nine. Go there. Then I can cut it all away. Point four and point six, right? I don't think they were. They might have both been point four. This one needs to be rounded. This one doesn't necessarily need to be rounded. Um, now... lines on it then I have to change 
this one. All right, and then the six. The six, I will redo a yet again. Okay, so now I've redone the ones that needed redoing. So now I can try and print just the ones that need redoing. So I don't need all of the letters. I just need this one, this one, and so on. So next is T. Then lowercase k. Then I and J. Then lowercase h and uppercase K then uppercase G Okay. I guess I will move these now. Uh Well, hang on, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So a three by three grid will get them all. Um, move this one. One, two, three, four, five. So minus 40. Minus 48. Because it's five between, so it needs to go to six. And then minus, what, 24? All right, move this one. All right, move this one. Whoops.
Okay. Then the six and the nine will go. Move this. Twenty-four and eight. Move this one eight. Sixteen and eight. All right. Combine them. Gonna go ahead and do that thing again. H I J K T nine. All right. Save this. Okay. And now Okay, cool. Now I just have that. And that was the point of keeping all these other bodies was being able to put them all into a smaller palette if I needed to. So, wait a minute. Didn't I need to do the queue? The capital Q. Odd. I had, I said to myself I was going to get rid of that hole in the capital Q. This one here. I mean, I'm going to do that right now. It doesn't need to be retested though. So. Because this... Because getting rid of that gap here is just what happened. So like... Okay, so now for the Q... So now I'll save everything here. I don't need that body. Okay. I'll save everything here and I'll print out the I will print out the uh what was it? GK 6 
H I J K T nine or something like that. Yeah. Um and I will get them all printed I will get that printed and I will see how well they work and if they work if they work the way they ought to work, then I will be able to get then I will be able to uh move on to transferring these into the font forge. I don't know about INJ. They might take a while to figure out, but they might take like 10, 12, 20 iterations, or I could just not do them. <laughs> well, I will see. Okay, so I printed this twice because I couldn't believe what I saw with the I and the J. Um, because of how, what, what I saw in the G code. Also, the first one came out pretty rough. Um, I think I had a glob of filament on the nozzle that I didn't notice. Second one came out a lot better. The G is really close to the corner here and could use to come down a little bit lower on the top. And the H, the, the bump of the H could use to be a little shorter. But it's really cool, the I and the J actually worked. And it's weird that it worked because in the in the um, G code, the little stick that was holding them together didn't get printed in by the G code. The slicer was like, "No, that's too small. I'm not going to print that." But they're connected because they're just so close together that like they kind of just fused together. So the dot is there and visible. And it's there for the I and for the J. So that's cool. So I don't need to change that. I had to make sure that it would happen more than once, right? So I printed it twice and it worked both times. So now I just need to fix the G and the H. The 6 and the 9 are good. And the point six is pretty good for the spacing there. So I'm going to it's the K the K looks good uh, except that it's practically touching the darn the darn edge there so I'm gonna change the left spacing to 0. 0.6 as well uh, where's the yeah but I'm gonna change the spacing of the left to 0. 0.6 and I'm gonna change the G a little bit and the H a little bit all the other letters are good. The T, I forgot about the T. Let me let me look at the T real quick. The T might maybe could be a little bit shorter, or not a short, a little bit shorter. The bumps on the T might could use to be a little, a little lower. Um, but I'm surprised that the I worked and the J worked. That's so cool. <laughs> I am going to keep that, uh, I'm not going to change them to remove the little stick in the middle because if you scale up the font then then it'll get to the point where that stick is becomes necessary to keep them connected so I am going to keep that stick in the, in the, in the file. Um, yeah so just change the G and the H, maybe lower the bumps on the T but the T is fine too. Let me, let me look at it through my naked eyes. Definitely lower the bumps on the T. Okay. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty neat. I can't believe it worked. <laughs> like, that is a lowercase i right there. The, that is a lowercase i. <laughs> that's so wild. Um... The K's came out fine, other than this one's too close to the edge, so I'm changing the left edge to be 0 0.6, just like the right edge. I'm trying to imagine what this would look like if I was doubled and I put another 9 next to it, and that would look good. So yeah, G, H, and T are the ones I still need to do, so... And the H, I barely need to do. 
So just G and the T, and like the second G came out fine. Other than that it's, other than that I want it to be a little bit, come a little bit lower. The six also looks a little bit like a G, which is interesting. It was over here rubbing on my on my phone because it's a sharp edge. She likes sharp edges. There, she's a cat. All cats like sharp edges. Um, yeah, change the G, the H, and the T. Lower the bump on lower that little hump on the H. Lower the bumps on the T, and lower the top of the bring the top of the G a little lower. So like everything needs to be lowered a little bit. And so I'll, I'll change that. Print that. And if those are and if those are good, then I can move on to putting these in the in the uh, in the uh, in the font software. I have an idea for how to do it easily because you can auto trace in that font software, but like you can't you can't scale by percentages like you can't scale by a precise amount but I don't think I need to scale because I think fusion can scale for me and then as long as I make sure that all of the letters that when I trace them are the same size then five millimeters will be five millimeters in fusion so yeah and then in terms of repeatability, this looks like one, this looks like they're only one piece, so like they're pretty good. Yeah, so that's what I'll do. G, H, and T is what I will now change. Okay, I just need to change the G, the capital G, the lowercase h, and the lowercase t. And they're all just nitpicks, so... Yeah, interestingly, the I and the J worked. Wild. But before I do that, I should have done this while I was doing this one. You know what? Hang on. This is the second time I needed to do this. So, I'm going to add a parameter LS for less spacing, and that's going to be 0 0.6 millimeters. Can I use angle currency? Ooh, luminosity? Mass? Substance. Oh, mole. Huh. Kel Kelvin, Celsius, Fahrenheit. What is R? That's so cool. Newtons. I think that's for for like modeling like when how like thi I think that's for modeling like the strength of things. Anyways, another one for it's RS for right spacing. And that's also going to be 0 0.6 for now. So, now I'm going to go into A LS RS and something changed. That didn't move. It just got skinnier. Okay. There, now I moved it. And then even though this is the correct number, I want it to be RS. Because that way, if it's, uh, that way if I decide to change it, then I can change it. Okay. 
So now what I'm going to do is make sure that okay, that's a driven. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that these are Well, if it's all black, then it's all defined. Then it's all defined. So all I have to do is all right. Every single one of these. Okay, then G, should I edit G while I'm changing the parameter? I think I should. Okay, so then I believe just have to change that angle from 45 to like 50. Yeah, that G actually does look better now. I hope it doesn't pop up. Uh, H. Now, it's not this H that I have to change. It's the lowercase H. Okay. And I honestly should have seen this coming because like because like I actually did plan to test that spacing when I was making the actual font. Okay. I also learned that I also learned that this grid here isn't a limitation on the letters right the uh, it's just like the default size that it th expects a letter to be but you can make a letter go past this go past this line if you want so that's not a big deal i was kind of worried about this while i was making like w but i didn't have to be Oh look, that's very close. W is probably actually going to go past it. I 
How is that already? Oh, because I did. It's N that I need to do. <laughs> I might change N if I can find the, uh, my palette that I printed. I might change N because it did look a little weird. Also, that looks almost like a Netflix N. I don't know why. Okay, so I'm going to have to measure the... I'm going to have to measure this. Okay. Okay. Why can't I measure that one? Okie dokie. And then if I just like... Okay, let me go back and see. Yep, there it is. OPQ. Okie dokie. There it is. Now R. That one was already 0. 0.6. Why is that? What in the world? Why is that 0. 0.6 already? Over constrained. Why? Wait, hang on, hang on. I think I know why. Yep, that's why. Actually, no, I'm gonna... There. Okay, so now Yeah. So what happened there was this line was on a projected line, so it wasn't able to to change it. So that's what happened there. Cuz in order to change it, it would have to change the projected line, but you don't want to change the projected line, so it can't it can't solve that.
Oh. I forgot to change the right side. And look, it already is past it. Alright, that's fine though. It just means I'm gonna have to change the window and the, the window size and, and W or whatever you call the thing. Whoops. Oh, that's right. For some reason, capital Y is next to lowercase y. And then this is going to be 0.6, isn't it? Yeah, because this is based off of the x. So it doesn't need to be changed because if the x changes, which it will whenever I change ls, then the Y will change with it. Okay, Z. Okay, it moved everything, that's good. Lowercase a. Lowercase b. Ah, it's the same thing with the r. Yeah, but because this one's based off of the same. Yeah, so so I think it's q that I'm gonna have to change. Yeah, I'm gonna skip that one. Oh well, no, I'm not going to skip that one because I got to change this one to the RS at least. Because this one's going to change with LS anyways. I just got to make sure that, that, that this distance changes when I change LS and it will. Because it's, it's, constrained, it's constrained to the same stuff that the R was. Okay, the D. The D I'm going to have to... All right. Now E, no, not D. E. Oh, E went past it too. Barely, but it went past it, so. Capital W and lowercase e are gonna have to be are gonna have to be uh, I'm gonna have to do some uh, some stuff to them for the width of them, but that's fine. F G. 
Ooh, okay, okay. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Okay, that turned them all black. Fail to solve. Please delete or modify one of the following constraints or dimensions. And why is that? Because it's based off of A and it's rotated See, this has a parallel constraint with something. Okay. D two eighty LS Can I move that now? Yes, I can. But it did change the shape of the letter, so I need to define everything now. Okay, so what it changed was this. So I'll just keep that and see what, what happens when I do this. Yeah, I just moved to the right. That's good. So G, now the lowercase h, I needed to move um, okay, so when I bring this down to point 0.8, this changes, and it's 1.676. When I bring it back to 1.2, now it is 1.528. So bring that to 1.8, that looks good, okay. All right. J Ah 
So J was project. Oh wait, hang on. J was projected from the first J, wasn't it? Which means that that's LS. So I don't need to deal with that. Okay. K. Everything moved. <clears throat> okay, K. Then the lowercase L. Lowercase M. This one's also going to move outside of the box, which means that I'll have to move the box in the font software. Lowercase n. Okay. Okie dokie. OPQ. think that if I change this now it's going to change this angle so there we go R And it was based off of the N, so this is already LS. Now T, which needed to, here, let me, let me see what this is. I'll make it 1.2, that ought to work. I forgot to change the parameters. And I have two separate parameters just in case I decide I want the left spacing to be different than the right spacing for some reason. I can't I can't see that happening, but like maybe, you know? T Let's see, lowercase y, which I don't have to change because the entire thing is based off of the x. Okay, zero. One. Oh cool, everything moved. I thought I might have to put some more definitions in there.
three. Okay, nothing changed. Four. <clears throat> on its own four looks like a nose but in the context of all the rest of them it looks very much like a four it's kind of funny five okay i really don't know if this is gonna oh cool that's so helpful Six. Okay, seven. Eight. Nine. Okay, so what's funny is I came in here mostly to change these three letters, but then because I did the I changed the letters while I was changing the parameters, the overall parameters, I ended up making it seem like the letters being changed was an afterthought. Uh, but now I can get these three letters made better, so. Um, G, H, and T. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, that's seven. H is, let's see, one, nine, 15, 23, 31. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus eight is seventeen. Twenty five. Thirty three. Yep. And then T is at 8 to 33 which is 41 42 ha neat they're all in a nice grid system although in hindsight I probably should have just made it a 10 by 10 a 10 by 10 grid so that I would have had a hundred of them or I would have space for a hundred symbols and then I could but then I could like you know count much more easily where they are on the grid um but yeah G H and T and then get rid of the palette then move this one an x distance of minus 
what, 24, 32, 40, and a y distance of minus what, 32, okay. Combine these. Uh, yeah. Put a sketch on here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this rectangle here just to keep the overall shape simple. body to HGT, save it, And then I'm just gonna Okay. So now this is what the letters look like. And then the idea, right? The I the overall idea for when I put these in the font software is because the font software can auto trace I'm gonna get a screenshot of all of these all at once and I'll put the same screenshot into every single letter and move it around until it's the one that's until the letter I want is the one inside the window and then when it auto traces it'll auto trace the letter I want right and then all I have to do is align those letters is, is uh, select the whole thing and drag them until they uh, snap to the to the uh, origin of the grid and luckily things will snap to the zero to the zero X line and the zero Y line in that in that software which is good if that wasn't an if that wasn't a thing I don't know what I would do I probably have to painstakingly copy these one by one anyways Anyways, doing uh gonna go ahead and print out my uh my GHT or was it HGT? Yeah, it was HGT because moving the and I will hopefully have three very good letters and if they're all very good then I can if they're all very good then I'll be able to get them uh, moved over into the font software which is of course the plan the the plan overall is to get all of this as a font so that in my next project I don't have to design the letters and numbers one at a time I can just go I can just type out she sold seashores by the seashore. I said that wrong. It was she sold seashells by the seashore. But yeah, that's the idea. So I'll get I'll get the HGT printed out, and then I'll see how see if I need to change anything. They all look good. 
maybe the T could be a, could have a bit bigger of the bumps, but like it's the same size bumps as on the F. It's not gonna. I doubt they're gonna be used. I doubt they're gonna cause that much of a problem. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these letters into the font forge now. The G could be confused with a C, but there are other fonts that do that anyways. And it is different enough from a C that like, it's not that big a deal. Like, you have to not have any other letters around it. You have to, you have to be like, oh, what letter is that? I don't know because it could be a G or it could be, a, but also the thing comes up past this and C's usually tend to have top and bottom symmetry, so. Like there's enough context clues to figure out that that's a G, especially, especially when it's in a, in a word, right? Like maybe goat versus coat. Ah, uh, let's see. But if you were to like get something or the word gift, or giraffe, you know, those would all have enough around them that you would know that that's supposed to be a G. So, also the uh, the spacing is pretty good, the the point six on either end. So, I'm probably keeping that. So what I'll do now is I'll see if I can get these traced into FontForge, and then I will put the uh, and then I will make another another palette right but using the font instead of designing the letters from scratch <laughs> 